let's jump into model layout then turn off the work plane i will add in a cube first then it just a size along the z once i have done that i am going to add in a profile to get that semicircular rounding so we need a disk i need to go to the side view then select the disk and rotate it to x and now i will lower down the density because this is too much i will set this to 8 and finally i will head over coordinates and rotate it exactly 22.5 degrees i am trying to align these top and bottom edges with the direction of the rounding so it is the z now let me tap v to go into your coordinates and move it along the z i will scale that up just to match the top and bottom edges with the cube that looks fine now let's select the cube and make it editable i will hit one on the keyboard to go into points mode then hit zero to grab the rectangle selection select this point and move this along the z so that we can mesh these once i have done that i'm going to right click grab loop cut tool hold down shift and hit this one right in the middle I need to set this to 2 because the disk has 2 points. Now let's go into points mode again, rectangle selection tool, then enable snap and snap these points simply. This is all we need to get a really nice and precise rounding. We can get rid of the disk. Now let's add in more geometry to make this mesh as even as possible. Right click. Loop cut tool, hold time shift, add this one in, then start to increase the numbers up until we have something even. I am talking about the sizes of these polygons. That seems fine to me, uh, but we need the same flow on the surface as well, because we are going to mirror this on the other side. So we got simply two edges in the middle, edge two, sorry, two edge loops. So all I need to do is Add in two loops in the middle. So loop cut tool, hold time shift, then set this to two. By the way, I want to delete these polygons as this is the mirror plane. Delete. Now we need to add in these circles, but current resolution will not allow us to get these circular details. So we need to subdivide this mesh at least one time. So let's select the cube, hold down Alt, and click on subdivision surface. Let me hit N and B to see the resolution. Obviously, this is too much, more than enough for our purpose. So let's go to the object and set this to 1. Now we need to tighten up these edges. I will select the cube. Let's turn off the snap and go into edge mode. Double click on these edges. Hold on shift. And weight them up. Now I can make the subdivision service a little bit. We no longer need the weight, so I will just delete it. From now on, we are moving with sporting edges. Now we have enough resolution. So let's select these polygons or polygons. I'm going to group up my selection uh, one time. So U and Y. Now I will apply the circle tool. This is going to give me more resolution. And therefore, it is going to be way easier to hold up that detail. Okay, let's make an inset. Move this down just to make it look more interesting. By the way, we do not need that half, bottom half. So I will delete this. Then hold my control. Move this down. And I want to come over here to the coordinates and set the Y position to 0. Then delete this. Again, this is going to be the mirror plane, so we need to keep it empty. Now let's double click, bevel it out. I will make a loop selection, delete. I will go into edge mode, double click, make a field selection because this shape is identical along the X. But now it is time to sharpen up these edges. Let's drop this one into SFD, then turn it off. I'm going to Hold on shift, select the edges that I want to sharpen up. Actually, no, first I need to close that hole. So I'm going to select these edges, 
I'm going to leave out these edges. Select these ones. Hold on control, move this down. Then I will go back to the coordinates. I will zero out to what position? Also, Y size. Now all I need to do is merge these points. I will go into points mode. I will grab rectangle selection tool, select these points in the same place, right click and apply weld. Same thing. You cannot that you can tap spacebar to go back to the previous tool. So I will tap spacebar, grab these points. I will again tap spacebar to bring back the merge tool and merge these. Okay, now I will go back to these edges. Hold on shift. Then right click, bevel. I will go into solid mode. I will also set this to uniform. This basically removes all these triangles. But that area is not looking well. You want a continuous loop cut. So I will hit Ctrl Z. And I want to introduce that edge as well. The reason why this is happening is because this is a pole. We are trying to bevel a pole. Uh, that point, it has three edges, so it, it is not surprising to get that result. So to fix that problem, let me hit Ctrl Z and add that edge to the bevel as well. Now bevel these out. We can connect these points. We don't need them. Hold on Ctrl and get rid of that edge. Now we have all quads. Now let's see if everything is well. Hit Q. Double click. Bevel. Solid mode. Bevel these out. Hit Q. Looks just perfect to me. Now we got a circle on the side. So I need to first mirror this along the Y. Hold on out. Symmetry. You want the Y. Enable the belt option and make it editable. Now I can select polygons. I don't need to grow up the selection as uh, this time around I don't have that detail, cut detail. So four polygons will be more than enough. I will apply the tool. Then I'm going to make an inset. Move this along the X, hold on control, extrude. Now we need to tighten up these edges. So I will tap V. Select and grab loop selection tool, hold on shift, select these edges, then fill them up in solid mode. Hit Q, looks perfect. Now we need to obviously mirror this on the X. Another symmetry, this is already facing the X, so all I need to do is click on that option. Let's spec out. So the other part is flipped. Unfortunately, we cannot get that look with the symmetry tool. So I will make it editable. Select the mesh, hold on control, locate, and rotate it 90 degrees. And another rotation, but this time around 180 degrees. Now, all I need to do is connect these two objects. Let's check the edge numbers on each side. This one has 32. This one is supposed to have the same amount, 32. Perfect, which means that we can connect these, connect objects and delete. Select the two loops, right click, stitch and seal tool, and connect the edges. This isn't supposed to be that long. So why don't we double click on these edges and dissolve them out. Points mode, rectangle selection, Select all these points and move them along to Z. Yeah, something like that. We can also get rid of these as well. Now I'm going to delete these empty nulls, enable subdivision surface. We got something off here. These are not connected. But I can fix that by putting this object under a connect object. All I need to do is increase up the threshold. Let's try 0.5 and it immediately works. To test this out, I will enable SubD, check the flow. So I can make this connected object editable. Here we go, the mesh is 
ready except for these edges. So first, let me check the normals are correct. I will go into polygon mode. Let's turn this off. Control A. It seems like the normals are correct. In this case, we could check out the phone angle. It could be the use edge breaks option. Let's turn this off. Enable sound. Yeah, exactly. And this is going to be it. If you find these edges too sharp, you can dissolve these out. This is another way to do it. Or you can introduce a smoothing deformer. Hold on shift. Add in a smoothing deformer. This is too much, obviously. So you mean it's something like, I don't know, five or six. This is actually really important. The reason is sometimes objects you model may look sharper in the renders than they look in the viewport. This is going to be it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just let me know anytime. Bye.